Devin, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be going over all of the things that I use right now for Daxton that are currently my favorites or that we use all the time. So starting out, we're just going to go ahead and start with um, bath time. Use the Honest Company Shampoo and Body Wash, um, and this one is in... Lav dreamy lavender um and it's ultra calming so i like to give them baths at night so this helps kind of calm them down um, and get them ready for bed and we also have the matching lotion that goes with it so of course it's in dreamy lavender ultra calming so when you give him bath with this um once we take him out we give him this and he's pretty much ready for bed um it also helps that i get ready get him ready for bed right when he starts to get tired um, and it really just depends on what time he eats that day, but usually I, um, will feed him and then give him a bath when I know he's getting tired, um, and this just helps kind of calm him down and get him ready to go to bed, um, and I personally think it helps him sleep better, um, when he does get baths on the nights he gets baths, he sleeps longer, um, and he doesn't wake up as early, uh, usually without a bath, he wakes up about five, four or five in the morning, um, with this, when he gets a bath, he wakes up about six thirty, maybe seven, um, so I personally think it helps him sleep longer and it smells so good. It's a hundred percent natural. Um, I don't like any of the other brands, bad stuff in them, carcinogens or whatever. Um, and I personally just like the Honest Company better. Um, it, this is the one that I've liked the best and he likes it the best. Um, and it's really gentle on his skin and I know that there's nothing bad going into his skin. Um, so this is what I prefer to use. Um, we have a whole cabinet full of different brands, but this is the one brand that I decided to use. Um, we did start out using Johnson & Johnson, Johnson Baby or whatever, um, and then I looked into it and all the stuff that's in there, soap and lotion, I did not like. So I decided to go with Honest Company. I have the app called Talk Dirty, um, and what you do is you scan your products and it tells you um, how, what's bad in it, what's good in it, and this one had nothing bad in it. At bath time we use towels. Um, these are the washcloths we use. I don't know what brand these are. These are Cloud Island, um, and it's just a little washcloth. It has a teal edge with a darker teal, um, inside, and we use these. I like these because they're thick. All the other um, washcloths that I have are super thin and I feel like they don't really clean him because they feel like nothing. These ones are thick and I know what I can feel when I'm cleaning him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can feel when I'm cleaning him and I feel like this just does the job better. So when I go to grab a towel for bath time, if we have any of these that are clean, these are the ones I prefer to use. Um, along with the matching towels, um, this is the hood pattern, and the rest of it is white. I really don't want to unfold all of it, but um, you can see it here. Oh, no, this side has the pattern too. I forget these fold weird, but this one just has triangles all over it, um, and it has the hood that has that pattern as well with, of course, the teal trim. Um, I like these ones better too as well because they're really soft, um, all the ones that we have are pretty soft, but I just like these ones better, um, probably because they're cuter. I like the colors on them. All the other ones we have are just gray and white, um, and they're still cute, and I, st I use all of the bath towels, um, and I use all of our um, wash rags as well, but these ones are the ones that, if they're clean, these are the ones I grab, um, so usually when I do laundry, I always put these ones on the top of the stacks and I go through these first and then I use all the other ones last um, just because I really like these ones and they're one of my favorites. And another thing that we use at bath time, I don't have out right now, um, it's in the bathroom, but it's the Pudge Tub. I'll link it down below. Go ahead and look it out, but it is magnetic and it folds. Um, <laughs> and you can just set it in the sink. So right now he's still in this. He's just now learning how to sit up and be stable. So we can't just set him in the tub yet um, with like a little thing around him. Um, so right now we're just using the punch tub still. It's like a memory foam, I think, or it's foam for sure. 
um, and it's gray and it has a little convenient hook on it. We literally just hang it on the side of our shower um, and we just grab it, fold it, put it in the sink and when we're done, we open it and none of the water stays in it because it goes flat. Um, I think that's my favorite thing is the storage part. All the other bathtubs I've ever seen have been huge and bulky and we have literally zero storage in his room, in the bathroom, in our room, um, just because he does have so much stuff that I found the Pudge Tub on Amazon. Um, and I think I put it on my registry on Amazon and one of Tate's relatives got it for me. Um, but I would have personally liked to purchase it from the Pudge Tub place um, from their website. I think they have a warranty on it um, when I looked into it on their website. Um, but it's the same price on their website and on Amazon. So really it's just where you prefer to buy it. Um, but I personally love the Pudge Tub. He sits in it so well. It keeps him upright in the tub. Um, and it's in one of my last videos where um, I think it's my day in the life of a teen mom. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. And I just like the style of it. It's more of a modern style. And that's kind of what I wanted whenever I got all of his stuff for him. So I really like this tub. Excuse you. So this is the tub that I was talking about. Um, it has a hook to hang. So we just hang it in our shower so it's not doesn't take a ton of space. And then you fold it and it just snaps. Um, and it turns into a seat and you can set it in the sink. Um, and this to me is like amazing. Um, but he's about to not use it because he's able to sit up now. But that was awesome when he was a newborn. It was so easy. So for feeding, um, he mostly drinks breast milk, right? <laughs> yeah. He mostly drinks breast milk, um, but when he doesn't and I don't have any milk in the fridge or um, that's really the only reason he doesn't drink breast milk is when there's no milk in the fridge. Um, I exclusively pump, I don't breastfeed, so if there's no milk in the fridge, he can't eat. Um, so we just get formula because I have been struggling with our supply. Um, so the formula that he uses is, let me grab it, hold on, let me grab it, hold on, just let me grab it. Will you let me grab it? Can I grab it? Can I go grab it? Are you going to let me grab it? Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah. The formula he uses is the Simulac Total Comfort. Um, in this one, it just says easy to digest, gentle protein, and prebiotics. Um, this is the formula that we ended up picking that he could actually go to the bathroom on. All the other formulas that we tried, I got a couple formulas for free mm -hmm. while I was pregnant, and we tried those because they said that they were easy to digest and that they weren't going to, like, upset their stomachs, but he did not do well on it at all, at well, at all. Um, whenever we first gave it to him, I'm pretty sure it was like that night or the next morning he was miserable and his stomach was so hard because he was so constipated. Um, so we decided to change and we went to Stimulac. I think the first ones that we gave him was Infamil um, and we have not changed it since we've gone to this one and we've stuck with it. Um, he does good on it and it doesn't stink like other formulas do. This one just smells not bad. Like I used to open the other formula and be like, huh because I can't stand the way it smells. Um, but this one doesn't stink, and he doesn't really spit up at that much with it, and he digests it really good. He has never had a problem with constipation or anything while, when he drinks this. Um, and then next that we use, well, with our formula, is the Parent's Choice Water. Um, this is just from Walmart. It's literally a dollar, um, and it's just the infant water. Um, so we it's safe to put in his... Um, bottles. I know that some people do just put regular tap water in their baby's bottles, but yeah, that's gross. Um, I personally am not a fan of that. So we get the infant water just from Walmart. It's a dollar. Um, we've never bought any other different water for him. Um, Mama doesn't know where to put this. I don't need your help though. <laughs> So when he's not drinking breast milk or formula and he's eating, he is usually eating baby food. I have recently found this baby food that I like. It is the Beech Nut Naturals and this one is just carrots. Um, and if I were to open this, it's literally just pureed carrots. Um, 
on the ingredients, it says ingredients, carrots. Um, that's all that's in there. We used to buy the Gerber um, little like plastic container foods and it came with two in one package. Um, but I read the ingredients on the carrots and it's like all this other stuff mixed in and these are 98 cents and so are the Gerber ones and this is four ounces. Um, so you do get the same because you get two two ounce containers of the Gerber and these you get one glass container of the um, beach, beach nut. And I like this, it's all natural, literally all that's in here is carrots. I, that like blows my mind that any other um, food I was feeding him before had all this other stuff mixed in. Um, like yesterday he was eating <laughs> green beans and the title was just like this one, it said just green beans and I read the ingredients and all it said was green beans crazy that that's like all they had to put in there um and it looked nothing like the Gerber ones the Gerber green beans looked like they put something in it to make it lighter and more creamy um these ones it was literally you could tell there was chunks of green beans in it and it just smelled way better and he honestly ate it better he ate this whole thing of green beans yeah you liked them didn't you and he, he's getting hungry, so he's, like, so excited that I have this. <laughs> um, but he ate the whole thing of green beans, and he used to only eat two ounces, and then he would be, like, done. Sometimes he wouldn't even eat a whole two ounces of green beans. Um, but yesterday he was, like, I started to put it away after he ate half of it because he usually only eats two ounces, and this is four. And he, like, freaked out. He was, like, I'm not done. So he ate the whole thing of green beans. The other thing that I have recently discovered and love is this Baby Breeza. Um, there's nothing in it right now, but it's literally just like a Ziploc bag. It opens right here and you can put food in it. Um, I know this little thing is for like people who make their own baby food, um, but I saw these on Amazon and I was like, these would be so much more convenient. He is so messy when he eats with a spoon. And yes, I know you have to feed him off of a spoon so they learn how to eat off of a spoon. This isn't the only thing I feed him out of. I do feed him with a spoon when we're at home. Um, but when we go out somewhere or someone's watching him, I will put his food into this and they can just open this and squeeze it out and give it to him. It's a lot less messy for them and it's just faster and easier um, than carrying around like putting this in his bag and then putting a spoon and then putting a bib and then putting in a whole nother change of clothes. I mean, I have a change of clothes in this diaper bag anyways, but to me, this was so much easier. It's faster to feed him too and he honestly likes it better because it is faster. Um, anything that he's eaten, he's always wanted it fast. Um, he hates when I feed him baby food with a spoon and I take too long to get the food on the spoon again after he's taken a bite like he will take a bite and if I don't have one ready as soon as he like opens his mouth he's mad um but with this he will literally just hold it and he'll just suck um and he'll bring it out whenever he's done and then when he wants more he'll pull it back up to his mouth so this is just more convenient for um traveling or you know when my mom watches him when his great grandma watches him um, when he's just out of the house, we're going to be out for a while and he's pooping. Um, when we're going to be out for a while and I know he's going to want to eat and I don't want to just give him formula. He is six months now, so he's in that stage where he can eat more solids. Um, so right now we're doing really, really, yeah, um, Right now we're doing uh, one veggie a day and one fruit a day, um, and we will slowly up that up as he gets older. Um, and of course he has snacks. He has like the mommy mum mums or whatever, and those little puffs that he eats. Um, but I don't really like to give those to him just because he is six months. He hasn't really figured out the having to chew it before you swallow it. So on the puffs, he like chokes on them. And that makes me nervous. So we're probably going to hold off on that until he is older. Um, but this um, is awesome. And it's super easy to fill up. It comes with something that you put inside of it. And you just fill it up, close it, and go. And he can eat out of it. And if he doesn't eat it all, it's still good in here. You don't have to put it in the fridge, whatever. Excuse me. 
and now he's getting mad because he knows what this is too and I'm not feeding him. Next thing that we use is these bottles. Um, we have a lot of other bottles. We have the Advent bottles. We have the bottles that come with my pump. Um, what else do we have? I think that's it. These are the Parents' Choice ones, though. And I don't know if you can tell. The little heart, it says Parents' Choice. Um, I'm about to have to feed them. Um, we have these. Um, and these are my favorite. They're small enough that he can hold, as well as the Medela bottles. Um, they're about this skinny, too, and he knows how to hold them. Um, this is exactly what he does. But he knows how to hold them. And they're just skinnier. They're not as bulky. I don't like the Abdon ones personally because they are so big. He doesn't know how to hold them because they're so big. And these ones, they his hands fit right around it and he just drinks out of it. Um, so these ones I take out. I really use these until they're dirty and then I'll wash them and I'll use these ones more than I do all the Advent ones and everything. Freaking thumb sucker. In your song. This bib I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I'll link it below. I'll link a lot of this stuff below. I'll link these below. Um, his tub. There's a lot of stuff over here too that I'll need to link below. Can you not play with that? I didn't put that there for you to play with. Um, but these I got off of Amazon. They came in a pack of three. And this is just one of them. Um, it just has arrows on it, and the brand is HB. I don't know. That's the brand. Next thing that I use feeding-wise is burp cloths. This one is... Oh, it doesn't have any stains on it, but it looks like it does. Um, these ones are just... I actually think these are for cloth diapers. Um, I'll link them below. We just got them off of Amazon. Um, this was one of the things that we bought last minute, but these ones are my favorite because they're the biggest ones that we have. All the other ones I really got from my baby shower, and they were like the ones from Babies R Us that are like this wide and this long, and they don't really do anything. I like these ones because they're huge, and they're easy to clean stuff up with. The small ones, it's like you wipe his face and that's it, the whole thing, like you can't use it again. Um, but this one is good to like for multiple feedings. Um, so we usually just leave these sitting around and just grab one when we see it. Um, this is the last thing. I'm going to consider this feeding because I don't know what else it would go into. But this is the Buna grass. I don't know, the grass stuff that everyone uses. Um, we use this as a drying rack. And these two little twigs were attachments. Um, so we use those as well. And we got that off of Amazon as well. Um... I will link that down below. Next, I think we're just going to go into, like, the random stuff. No, no, no. We're not going to wash laundry. Um, next thing is the laundry detergent we use. This is the all... Yeah. This is just the all brand, and it's the baby one. Um, and this one... I don't know how much is in here. This is... Mm, 2.95 quarts. And it smells exactly like Drift. Um, I think it might smell a little bit better. But we bought this because this is bigger than the Drift. But um, Drift is expensive. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I'm not going to pay that much for laundry detergent whenever they sell this cheaper. And it's also for babies. Um, and this one we've always... He has a ton of clothes. Um, I'll probably do like a room tour one day and y'all will see that his closet is full of clothes and so are all of his drawers. Um, and his laundry basket is probably going to be full of clothes because it's never empty. Um, I change him like 20 times a day and he still has too many clothes. So this is a good thing for us because we wash his clothes all the time. There's always clothes being done or towels being washed with his stuff. Um, so we use this. And I've used it on my clothes a couple of times, um, just whenever we're out of our detergent. And it really does last a long time. I have like th three, yeah, three car seat covers from Car Seat Canopy. This one just has little arrows on it and it's gray. Um, and if you don't know what a car seat cover is, it's the 
thing that goes over the car seat. So like this one, this one's not my favorite because it like sticks together. Um, but it has, it's going to stick together, but <laughs> it has this hole at the top and you just put it over the handle and then this goes over front and back to cover them. Um, just like if it's raining or windy, of course here it's like super windy and dirty all the time. Um, so on days like that, I use this to cover him. Um, that way he doesn't get wet or it's not as cold or the dirt doesn't get in his face. Um, stuff like that. And this has really been my favorite. I have this one and then I have a white and black stripe one. White, black and white stripe one. Um, and then I have one of the... Um, ones that drapes over it's not uh, stretchy it's just like a blanket basically and it has the two little velcro pieces that go on the handles and you flip it up and down um, and that one is gray chevron um, but I don't like using that one because it's not one of my favorites right right yeah it's not one of my favorites next is one of my favorite blankets that he has used since he was a newborn um, this one just has his name all over it. It has his his initials monogrammed. Um, it has his name in different fonts, um, first, middle, and last name. Um, and my sister got this. <sighs> she got this off of Jane, I believe. Um, I guess that's how he feels about this blanket, but mom likes it. So, um, But this is one of my favorite blankets. It's so soft, um, and he... I think we brought him home. We had this in the hospital for sure. This was the blanket I took to the hospital along with his um, buffalo plaid swaddle and hat um, that we did his newborn pictures in. Um, that was, I think those were the two blankets I took to the hospital and this one we, um, I don't think we had, maybe we did have a blanket on it when we left the hospital. I don't know, he's born in April and it was pretty hot the day we left. Um, <laughs> But I know we had like his car seat cover on him and everything. But this is one of my favorite blankets. Next is this Infantino baby carrier. Um, so it just looks like this. And essentially it goes like this on me. And his arms go through here, his legs go through here. And I can carry him without having to carry him. Um, I like using this when we go places that he's not going to want to sit in his car seat or I don't want him to sit in his car seat for that long. He likes to be able to see everything and when he's in his car seat and he can't do that, he gets really frustrated um, and then he wants out of his car seat. So having that, I'm holding him but it's not like straining me and I'm not exhausted um, and he can still see it. Um, but having that, I can hold him without having to actually hold him and it's a lot easier for me. Um, and hopefully sometimes I just put it on around the house. Um, to get some stuff done because there's some days where he does not want anything but to be held um, and a lot of the times it's just me here by myself so having that I can still get stuff done um, without having to hear him scream because he wants me to hold him but I have to get something done um, he's a really good helper just like most babies are um, and the next things that I'm going to list I'm not going to show you because they're too big um, but one of the first things is what he's sitting in right now. Um, it's like a bumbo seat, but it's not. It has a tray that goes onto it. Um, I'll just lift him up. Ugh, it looks like this. He's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Um, but it's like a bumbo seat, but it has a tray that goes on it. Um, and then it has this little toy that snaps into it. So if he's not eating, he can sit in it and play. Um, we usually put him up on the counter while Tay is playing video games or um, I'm just laying in bed watching TV. He likes to just be able to see us um, and this helps him when we set him up on the counter, he can see everything um, and he's not as fussy. So that's one thing he really likes that. Um, another thing is his jumper. It is a Baby Einstein brand. Um, and it's just like the zoo animals or the travel one. I don't know. It has like a globe on it um, and all these animals and stuff. And he absolutely loves that thing. Now that he's uh, his, his legs are way stronger, um, he will jump like crazy in that thing. Um, so we put him in that sometimes whenever um, if we're holding him and he wants to stand up. As soon as he stands, he starts jumping. Um, 
And so we just put him in his jumper and he's good for like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Another thing is his mamaroo. Um, if you don't know what a mamaroo is, I'll link one down below. Um, but it is just a, essentially a swing, um, but it doesn't have like a bar that hangs down and swings. Um, it's automatic and he lays in it. Usually when he wakes up from a nap or when he's kind of tired, um, we'll put him in that when he's calmed down and not as like this. Um, and we'll do that and he'll just hang out there for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, after his nap, he'll hang out, watch TV. Um, where it's placed, it's like directly behind me and our TV is right here. So he can see the TV perfectly. So when he wakes up from a nap, usually I'll put him in there or in his bouncer in the, in the living room right in front of the TV. Um, and he'll just sit in that and watch TV 15, 20 minutes, sometimes longer if he uh, didn't take a very long nap and he's still really tired. Um, but he'll just watch TV and hang out in there until he fully wakes up. And it's really good for me because if I'm doing something when he wakes up, I just put him right in there and then finish what I'm doing and then kind of just hang out and wait until he's done um, waking up and he's ready to get out and eat and stuff like that. Oh, my head's spinning. I think that's really it for everything that we use on a daily basis. Of course, um, there's a lot of his clothes that I like, but I have so many favorites that I'm not going to pull them all out. Um, I will do a room tour and show his room and his closet and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I do a closet tour because he has way too many clothes and he's a baby. So um, I do have a lot of exciting videos planned and a lot of things that I wanna do in the future. So bear with me on this whole waiting um, so long for a video. I will do more. Um, but if you have any questions about the products I use, I will try to link most of them below. Some of them are just basic things that you can find at the store. Um, so I'm not going to link those, but things like the jumper and his mamaru and his tub, um, and some of the things I got off of Amazon, I will link them below. And if you want to go get them, you can click that link and go get them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. 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 He's doing it, you just can't see his hand.